Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the Heart Space there on Astrology. I'm so happy to have you here with me. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support. And if you are new, then welcome to the Heart Space. I'm very happy to have you here with us. Cancer, this reading will be for you, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I have been doing a lot of work in my garden today and I've been called to do your reading. While I was sitting in your energy, I kept hearing coping mechanism. And so, what your spirit wants you to know is that you have created some coping mechanisms since childhood. And spirit guides want you to address what you are bearing deep down because that is going to be the door to your ascension. Now let's talk a little bit about what is coping mechanism. Coping mechanism is basically adapting to environmental and internal stress that is based on conscious or unconscious choices which gives us comfort, right? And makes us feel in control. But coping mechanisms are meant to be temporary, okay? Because if we are allowing these coping mechanisms to run our lives, we most likely are not addressing these shadow aspects of ourselves that need to be addressed during our lifetimes, okay? Your spirit guides want you to address these coping mechanisms that you've been creating since childhood, okay? One of the guidance here is that deep breath. It's a very uh, useful element for you. Deep breathing okay and spending time with your bare feet in the dirt in the ground it's very helpful during this time for you it, it will help you deal and address the coping mechanisms you might not even know you've creating around a situation okay now let's get into your spread i'm going to get a couple of overall energies from spiritual journey oracles Okay, I will try to write down all the names of the decks uh, if I'm missing some while I'm doing the reading. And uh, if you're interested in that, you can find it down below in the description box down below, okay? All right, let's find out what spirit guides need you to know right now for the month of April. Spirit guides and angels connect with your spirit guides, archangels and ancestors, they will guide you on your journey. Absolutely. You're never alone, Cancer. Nourishment. Your body, mind and soul are sacred. Feed yourself only that which nourishes you in the most healthy way possible. You have to be very much aware uh, regarding what kind of people you have around you, what kind of environment you are in and uh, you know what what are you watching on tv what kind of news you are watching you know be, be aware what situations and things you are feeding yourself throughout the day okay the student is ready yes yes cancer you are ready when the student is ready the teacher will appear this indicates an openness to receive you are ready to deal with this coping mechanism you are. I heard one more. Thank you so much for your eyes. Cancer. Thank you. Incoming messages. There is a message of significant importance coming to you that you may not have been expecting. Listen intently to what is being said. Your spirit guides are connecting with you. I heard hawks. Vultures. Pay attention to uh, the wildlife around you. They have messages for you, okay? Wow, heart opening. Anahara is the energy of love within you. Opening the heart chakra fills you with love, forgiveness, and compassion. 
most likely this coping mechanism is coming from a very emotional side and aspect of yourself. You might have closed your heart chakra in during your childhood and you don't even realize that. Maybe you have some hints. Maybe you're afraid to open your heart chakra because of something painful that happened to you during your childhood. It has to be addressed. Let's keep going. This energy is very powerful, Cancer. I am allowing spirit guides to come through. And so if I stop and, you know, I take a moment, please bear with me, okay? All right, I'm using the angel tarot for you. Let's see, what is the most significant energy that needs to come through in the month of April? Thank you so much, spirit guides. Wow. Ace of Swords truth coming in truth that will set you free i heard you are seeing the truth of a situation you are seeing the truth of this coping mechanism that you've created since childhood it's no longer healthy for you to keep this coping mechanism it's harmful okay it's not in your best interest anymore wow Cancer, this is incredibly powerful. And also, I'm getting chills right now. And this tells me that whoever needs to hear this message will hear this message. What is the challenge for the month of April for Cancer? Knight of Water, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, see? Knight of Water, it's Knight of Cups. It's falling in love. It's an offer of emotional love, right? It's an offer of this emotional cup. An Ace of Earth, it's a new beginning, new opportunities, an inflow of abundance, okay? It's Knight of Cups, which is romantic and enthusiastic. And this offer of love, right, that somebody wants to offer to you. And it's followed by these new opportunities, new amazing abundance that wants to come in. Are you not allowing people that are vibrating at the same frequency with you to touch your heart? There's some fear there. There's some fear that you have, to, you really have to go back, way back in your childhood memories. Let's keep going. Let's see, what do we have in the shadows for you in the month of April? Nine of Swords. Queen of Water, which is you. It's water energy, right? See, Nine of Swords, which is really um, fear, expecting the worst, okay? You might have a lot of sleepless nights because there's something that needs to be addressed and your spirit guides really, your spirit guides are connecting with you through your dreams and they are telling you that, you know, you have been holding to this coping mechanism for so long and it's because it became harmful. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust your intuition, trust your heart. Very important during this time to balance your chakras. There's some heart chakra. Um, there's some, there's a heart chakra. Your heart chakra needs attention. Let's keep going. We'll clarify some of these energies. What's coming to an end? What is it, Spirit Guides? What is coming to an end? Thank you. Queen of Swords. This really gives me the vibes of uh, you clearing away negative thoughts, dark thoughts, uh, restrictive patterns that you've been building internally. And now you need to clear all that away. Clear away all that no longer serves you. You are seeing your power 
Cancer, your ascension will be you dissolving this coping mechanism that's in the way of your happiness. It's in the way of you feeling real love, deep love. And it starts with you. It st starts with you feeling love for yourself. It starts with you understanding your light, understanding your power. What's crowning this energy? Four of Cups. There, uh, there's some uh, negative thoughts um, within your subconscious. You are feeling maybe um, discontent during this time. You have to really open your eyes to the opportunities that are right in your front. Okay, Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. That's what you are not seeing. How you talk to yourself, it's very important, Cancer. What are you telling yourself? Are you talking to yourself with a healing vibration? Are you talking to yourself in a positive way, in a positive manner? Are you telling yourself how beautiful, how worthy you are? We'll clarify this. What's coming for you, Cancer? Wow, I love this. The High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Your intuition is screaming at you during this time, Cancer. Please do not stir away from that. Now, it's important for you to have patience because there's a lot of knowledge that's coming your way. The High Priestess, it's a portal for you, I heard. The High Priestess, it's the door. Now, we know that High Priestess, it's assigned to the moon, which is Scorpio energy. Again, water, more water. You are very psychic. What's coming, it's you trusting your intuition. It's you working with your intuition during this time. The High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets. That's why it's important for you to meditate, to spend time in nature. Again, uh, the bare feet in the ground, in the dirt, it's very much highlighted and powerful for you, Cancer, okay? Listen to yourself. Listen to your spirit guides. Listen to that internal voice that's been there for you at all times. Listen to your higher self. Through, um, throughout this journey, you are going to ascend. You are going to awaken. All right. What are you not seeing in this energy? Thank you so much for you guys. What's the blind spot for the month of April? <laughs> Page of Cups, seven of wands this nine of cups page of cups is the same energy here somebody really wants to be in your life now the question is are you going to permit that cancer are you going to allow your heart to open uh, okay all right so spirit guides are telling me that this person is going to show up in your life and is one of your soulmates, okay? It's somebody that really vibrates with you at the same frequency, but there's this coping mechanism. It will be in the way when this person will show up, okay? Now go back into childhood memories. What was, try to pinpoint that feeling, that thing, that emotion, uh, that moment where you felt you cannot deal with that emotion or, or thing or situation and you've created this coping mechanism around it. Yeah, see, Seven of Wands right now, I'm feeling like it's you pushing away this person. It's you 
you setting up some kind of wall between you and this person because your heart is not healed yet. Your heart is not opened. Let's keep going. Wow, Cancer. What are the external factors for you, Cancer? The Empress and Nine of Wands. Wow, how beautiful. How beautiful. The Empress, Venus energy. The external factors really tells me that it's time for you to nurture yourself. It's time for you to spend time in nature around animals okay and within this space you're going to bring in all this courage and determination and you are going to feel very much protected your spirit guides and angels are with you at all times believe that your intuition is not stirring you wrong Believe that you are worthy to be the empress, okay? Nurture yourself. Nurturing, it's super important for you. And it can be, you know, nurturing can be different for everybody. Whatever works for you, whatever calms you down, whatever brings in that peace and harmony, do that. Nurture yourself, okay? Right. What are the hopes and fears for Cancer, please? Thank you. Six of Swords. Moving towards your uh, spiritual evolution. Movement. It is about movement from, you know, choppy waters to calm waters, right? Things are looking up. You might want to take a vacation or a trip somewhere. Two of Wands, yes, I love that. Continue to move forward. You have the tools, the power, and the abilities to take any kind of decisions during this time. There are new partnership, love partnership, work partnership that are coming in. Do not play small, do not dim your light. If you have to take a trip during this time, if you have to move locations, this is a great time for you, the month of April. It's a yes from Spirit Guides. A likely outcome. What's this likely outcome for Cancer, please, in the month of April? The world. Oh, Cancer. This is perfect. And Two of Swords. Yep. Let me see. The likely outcome is you deciding to release this coping mechanism and to open your heart, to allow your heart to soar, I heard. To allow your heart to love in a very deep and vulnerable way. The world, Saturn, right? It's an accomplishment, a job well done. It's joy, it's fulfillment. It's the fact that you took the path toward enlightenment and now you are ascending. You are ascending to higher levels of consciousness because you chose to go on this most likely difficult path. Okay, because if you created some kind of coping mechanism around a situation, it means that it was tough and difficult to deal with, psychologically speaking. That was most likely the best thing you could have done. But it's time to release that. It should have been just temporary, okay? And you've been holding on to it for too long. You are ready. You are ready. Nourishment, please. Nurture yourself. Open your heart. And take this new journey to enlightenment. I want to clarify a couple of things. Then I'm going to take most of these um, energies and clarify them into the extended. 
And so please, if you are interested and uh, this resonated with you enough to join me there, then there will be a link in the description box down below for you. And um, if you'd like to join me there, then please do so. Let's see. I want to clarify this Ace of Swords, the most significant energy here for you. Also, if uh, you enjoy this reading, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. It would really support this channel and it would help me out tremendously. Ace of Swords. What is this for you guys? The most significant energy. Yep. Ten of... <sighs> Release. Letting go. See, whatever you've created, whatever pain, whatever trauma and wound you've hidden in the depths of your subconscious, it needs to be addressed sooner or later. And this is the time, Cancer. It's you ascending to a better version of yourself. And most of the time when we do so, we have to leave our old self behind anything else for this ace of swords yeah nine of swords eight of pentacles eight of wands sorry yeah do not sit in this i heard desperation do not sit nine of swords again right it's you expecting the worst you having these negative emotions and feelings about something if you're afraid to love again, if you're afraid to open your heart, to really trust somebody and to really trust yourself first, if you're afraid to do so, most likely you've pushed people away because you're afraid to let people in, right? Now why? Where is this wound stemming from? Ask yourself that, okay? Spirit guides are communicating with you. Yes, big time, big time. All right, and the challenge. Knight of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Tell us more, Spirit guides. Thank you so much. Wow, what a deep reading. Six of Pentacles. Oops, oh yeah. Justice, Queen of Cups again. And the moon. <laughs> Making things right, I heard. Making things right uh, internally. Balancing. Balancing your chakras. I keep hearing that. Balancing your yin and yang. You're bringing a lot of your truth to the surface during this time. It's important, Cancer. Speak your truth. Live in your truth. And allow this truth that sometimes we hide it. Sometimes we hide our truth because we think we cannot deal with it, okay, fully. And so your truth needs to come to the surface. Your truth needs to be spoken, Cancer. And the only way your truth will come to the surface is you releasing this coping mechanism that's holding you back. It's not, bring, it's not healthy anymore, okay? In the extended, I am going to uh, get a couple of chakra cards. So if you'd like to join me there, then we, we are going to discuss what chakras are not being balanced during this time, okay? Now let's get a uh, final, a final oracle card here for you from the soul's truth, okay? Thank you so much, Cancer, for being here. Let me know in the comment box down below how this resonated with you. I know that this will reach the right people. That's what Spirit Guides told me. So, what do we have for Cancer for the month of April? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Final guidance. Thank you. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? You are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting, and what you can do to help your body rest. Today's soul action, take a bath. Yes, put on some lavender essential oil. 
go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra, you're encouraged to say it out loud as well. The more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. Nourishment is very important. Take time out, meditation, uh, if you can. Go on vacation, do things that are helping your body to relax. Because, believe it or not, your physical body is connected to your emotional body. And if you allow, if you create this healthy space, your emotional body will benefit from you taking care of your physical body, okay? Please address this coping mechanism because there's love, there's this beautiful love that wants to come in, but your heart needs to be opened, fully opened, okay? Thank you so much, Cancer. Have a beautiful April. Know that I love and appreciate you so much. I hope to see you next time here at the Heart Space. Until then, be safe. Bye-bye.